In this video, I'll be using PowerShell to install progressive web apps using Brave. I'm starting this video from a GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. And here you can see the objective for this video. Mainly, I will be installing Twitter, Telegram, and Spotify. And here you can see the PowerShell snippet that I will be using to install the progressive web apps. And it works by creating a JSON object with all the necessary settings and then placing the JSON object in Windows registry. And inside of the JSON object, we need to specify if we want a desktop shortcut, if we want to launch the progressive app in a separate window, and also the URI for the app itself. Like this one is for Twitter, this one is for Telegram, and the last one is for Spotify. And now I'll click on the button right here to copy the PowerShell snippet, and then I'll go to my VMware workstation where I have this Windows virtual machine. And if I open Brave now, you can see that nothing is happening here. And to install the progressive web apps, I will open my terminal application. I will run it as administrator. And then I will insert the PowerShell snippet from the GitHub page. Then I will press enter. And it seems that the snippet executed successfully. And for the apps to install, we need to relaunch Brave. So I will close it and then I will reopen it. And now we need to wait a bit. And as you can see, all the web apps appeared here. If I open them, they open in the separate window and all of them are giving me the signing screen so everything seems to be working just fine and that's basically it for installing progressive web apps using brave browser and now if you want to remove the web apps you would need to go to windows registry and remove the registry entry that was created with the powershell snippet and for that i will go back to my terminal application here i will type regedit this brings me the register editor. Here I will go to local machine, software, policies, Brave software, Brave, and here we have the registry entry that was created with the snippet. I will right click on it and select delete. And this removes the registry entry. And once again, for the settings to apply, I need to relaunch Brave. So I will close it and reopen it. And as you can see, the web apps disappeared. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.